one of the biggest icebergs in recorded history just broke loose from Antarctica. This story has been updated. Scientists announced Wednesday that a much-anticipated break at the Larsen Sea ice shelf in Antarctica has occurred, unleashing a massive iceberg that is more than 2,200 square miles in area and weighs a trillion tons. In other words, the iceberg, among the largest in recorded history to splinter off the Antarctic, is close to the size of Delaware and consists of almost four times as much ice as the fast-melting island of Greenland loses in a year. It is expected to be given the name A68 soon, scientists said. Its volume is twice that of Lake Erie, one of the Great Lakes, wrote researchers with Project Midas, a research group at Swansea and Aberystwyth Universities in Wales that has been monitoring the situation closely by satellite. The break was detected by one NASA satellite, Aquamodus, and confirmed by a second, they said. The European Space Agency has also confirmed the break. The iceberg contains so much mass that if all of it were added anew to the ocean, it would drive almost 3 millimeters of global sea level rise. In this case though, the iceberg is already afloat so there won't be a substantial sea level change. The Project Midas group said Wednesday that the effect of the break is to shrink the size of the floating Larsen Sea ice shelf by 12 percent. While they can't be certain, they're concerned that this could have a destabilizing effect on the shelf, which is among Antarctica's largest. The iceberg is one of the largest recorded and its future progress is difficult to predict, said Adrian Luckman, the lead Midas researcher and an Antarctic scientist at Swansea University in a statement. It may remain in one piece but is more likely to break into fragments. Some of the ice may remain in the area for decades, while parts of the iceberg may drift north into warmer waters. There is no expected immediate effect on shipping, Luckman said by email. Icebergs from this region occasionally make it out beyond the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, but it will take a while for that to happen to this iceberg or its fragments and there is not a lot of shipping in the area that I am aware of," he explained. The change is large enough that it will trigger a redrawing of the Antarctic coastline, according to Ted Scambos, senior research scientist with the National Snow and Ice Data Center. Indeed, it means that the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf, previously the fourth largest in Antarctica, is now probably only the fifth or sixth largest, Scambos said. However, even larger icebergs than this have broken off of Antarctica in the past, including an over 4,000 square mile berg, famously dubbed B-15, in 2000. That was almost twice the size of this one and broke off the Ross Ice Shelf, Antarctica's largest floating ice body. It was the biggest iceberg ever recorded. Larsen C also lost an even larger piece in 1986, Scambos said but that occurred in considerably different circumstances. It came after the shelf had grown considerably and extended much farther out into the Weddell Sea than it does now. This calving is a little bit different, because it makes the ice shelf so much smaller, Scambos said. Scientists will now proceed to track the iceberg using satellite imagery, and should be able to get a chance at regular glimpses even in Antarctic night, due to the use of radar and thermal imaging. The iceberg's progress is expected to be northward in the direction of South America. First, it will be swept up in the Weddell Sea Gyre, an elongated circuit of ocean flow, and then should pass to the west of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands, according to said Helen Amanda Fricker, an Antarctic expert at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Then the iceberg, or its pieces, will leave the Weddell Sea and become swept up in the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, which encircles the entire continent, flowing in a west-to-east direction. Before the break, a rift across the Larsen Sea ice shelf had extended more than 100 miles in length, and just a few miles of remaining ice connected the nascent iceberg to the shelf. The break began several years ago but had quickened its pace in the last year increasingly convincing scientists that the iceberg detachment was inevitable, despite the fact that it is actually winter in Antarctica right now.
there is a debate over whether this event can be attributed in any way to climate change. Scientists don't have all the data to show what is happening in the environment of the floating Larsen Sea ice shelf, which is affected not only by air temperatures above it but also ocean temperatures below it. Antarctica's ice shelves do calve large pieces regularly, a natural process. But at the same time, Larsen Sea is the next ice shelf in line in a southward progression that has previously seen the collapse of the Larsen A and Larsen B ice shelves making this occurrence at least suspicious. I think we're all scratching our heads as to just what combination of changes in the ice, air, and ocean caused this, said Scambos. It's unclear if this is a new trend for this area of Antarctica. The case for a climate-related cause is not nearly as good as for other areas of Antarctica. The Antarctic continent is ringed by ice shelves, which are large, thick, floating extensions of glaciers that have extended from the land, where they have built up due to snowfall over vast time periods, into the sea. These shelves are now vulnerable to warming ocean waters, which can cause them to thin, break off pieces at an unusual rate, and even collapse. And when they do so, the ice behind them is liberated to flow more rapidly into the ocean, raising seas. Scientists stress, however, that because the trillion-ton iceberg is already afloat in the Weddell Sea, its detachment does not raise the globe's sea level. Their fear, however, is that its loss could speed up the outward ice flow of the remainder of the Larsen Sea ice shelf, which would indeed increase sea level, but those glaciers only have the potential to raise seas by about a centimeter in this region. The greater fear is the loss of ice shelves, and glaciers farther southward in Antarctica, where the sea level rise potential begins to be measured in feet. According to Washington Post. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe for the next video. Iceberg twice size of Luxembourg breaks off Antarctic ice shelf. Satellite data confirms calving of trillion ton, 5,800 square kilometers iceberg from the Larsen Sea ice shelf, dramatically altering the landscape. A giant iceberg twice the size of Luxembourg has broken off an ice shelf on the Antarctic Peninsula and is now adrift in the Weddell Sea. Reported to be hanging by a thread last month. The trillion-ton iceberg was found to have split off from the Larsen Sea segment of the Larsen Ice Shelf on Wednesday morning after scientists examined the latest satellite data from the area. The Larsen Sea Ice Shelf is more than 12% smaller in area than before the iceberg broke off, or calved, an event that researchers say has changed the landscape of the Antarctic Peninsula and left the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf at its lowest extent ever recorded. The Larsen Sea Ice Shelf has released an enormous iceberg. It is a really major event in terms of the size of the ice tablet that we've got now drifting away, said Anna Hogg, an expert in satellite observations of glaciers from the University of Leeds. At 5,800 square kilometers the new iceberg, expected to be dubbed A68, is half as big as the record-holding iceberg B-15 which split off from the Ross Ice Shelf in the year 2000, but it is nonetheless believed to be among the ten largest icebergs ever recorded. The huge crack that spawned the new iceberg grew over a period of years, but between 25 May and 31 May alone, the rift grew by 17 kilometers, the largest increase since January. Between the 24th of June and 27th of June the movement of the ice sped up, reaching a rate of more than 10 meters per day for the already severed section. But in the end it wasn't a simple break, data collected just days before the iceberg cab revealed that the rift had branched multiple times. We see one large, iceberg, for now. It is likely that this will break into smaller pieces as time goes by, said Adrian Luckman. Professor of Glaciology at Swansea University and leader of the UK's Midas project which is focused on the state of the ice shelf. Unlike thin layers of sea ice, ice shelves are floating masses of ice, hundreds of meters thick, which are attached to huge, 
grounded ice sheets. These ice shelves act like buttresses, holding back and slowing down the movement into the sea of the glaciers that feed them. There is enough ice in Antarctica that if it all melted, or even just flowed into the ocean, sea levels would rise by 60 meters, said Martin Siegert, professor of geosciences at Imperial College London and co-director of the Grantham Institute for Climate Change and Environment. But while the birth of the huge iceberg might look dramatic, Experts say it will not itself result in sea level rises. It's like your ice cube in your gin and tonic, it is already floating and if it melts it doesn't change the volume of water in the glass by very much at all, said Hogg. Following the collapse of the more northerly Larsen A ice shelf in 1995 and Larsen B in 2002, all eyes have turned to Larsen C. But Sigurd is quick to point out that the calving of the new iceberg is not a sign that the ice shelf is about to disintegrate, stressing that ice shelves naturally break up as they extend further out into the ocean. I am not unduly concerned about it, it is not the first mega iceberg ever to have formed, he said. Andrew Shepard, professor of Earth Observation at the University of Leeds, agreed. Everyone loves a good iceberg, and this one is a corker he said. But despite keeping us waiting for so long, I'm pretty sure that Antarctica won't be shedding a tear when it's gone because the continent loses plenty of its ice this way each year, and so it's really just business as usual. Luckman said that while the Larsen Sea ice shelf might continue to shed icebergs, it might regrow. Nevertheless previous research by the team has suggested that the remaining ice shelf is likely less stable now that the iceberg has calved, although it is unlikely the event would have any short-term effects. We will have to wait years or decades to know what will happen to the remainder of Larsen C, he said, pointing out that it took seven years after the release of a large iceberg from Larsen B before the ice shelf became unstable and disintegrated. What's more? Luckman stressed that while large melt bonds were seen on Larsen B prior to its collapse, features which are thought to have affected the structure of the ice shelf, those seen on Larsen C are far smaller and are not even present at this time of year. And while climate change is accepted to have played a role in the wholesale disintegration of the Larsen A and Larsen B ice shelves, Luckman emphasized that there is no evidence that the calving of the giant iceberg is linked to such processes. Twila Moon, a glacier expert at the U.S. National Ice and Snow Data Center agrees but, she said, climate change could have made the situation more likely. Certainly the changes that we see on ice shelves, such as thinning because of warm erosion waters, are the sort of changes, that are going to make it easier for these events to happen, she said. Luckman is not convinced. It is a possibility, but recent data from the Scripps Institute of Oceanography actually show most of the shelf thickening, he said. The progress of the rift, and the loss of the iceberg, has been carefully followed by analysis of radar images from the European Space Agency's Sentinel-1 mission which provides data from the region every six days. Before we would have been lucky if we had got one satellite image a year of an event like this, so we would not have been able to watch it unfold, said Hogg, pointing out that the radar system allows data to be collected whatever the weather and in the dark, while technological advances mean more data that can be downloaded than for previous satellites. The news of the giant iceberg comes after U.S. President Donald Trump announced that the U.S. will be withdrawing from the 2015 Paris Climate Accord, an agreement signed by more than 190 countries to tackle global warming. Truly I am dismayed, said Moon of the move. Now at the mercy of the ocean currents, the newly calved iceberg could last for decades depending on whether it enters warmer waters or bumps into other icebergs or ice shelves. According to The Guardian. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe for the next video. Trillion ton iceberg finally snaps off West Antarctic ice shelf, scientists confirm.
a trillion ton iceberg more than four times the size of our act has finally broken off the West Antarctic ice shelf, scientists have confirmed. A trillion ton iceberg, one of the largest ever recorded, has snapped off the West Antarctic ice shelf, scientists have confirmed. Researchers have been monitoring the steadily growing crack in the Larsen Sea ice shelf for years. Swansea University finally announced on Wednesday that the rift had completed its path through the ice, causing a 5,800 square kilometer section of the shelf to snap off. The massive ice cube is twice the size of the Australian Capital Territory, four times the size of London, and twice the size of Luxembourg. It is about 350 meters thick. The iceberg weighs more than a trillion tons, but it was already floating before it calved away so has no immediate impact on sea level, the research team said. It will likely be named A68. With the calving, the Larsen Sea ice shelf lost more than 12% of its total surface area. Icebergs calving from Antarctica are a regular occurrence. But given its enormous size, the latest berg will be closely watched as it travels for any potential risk to shipping traffic. The calving may have heightened the risk of the remaining ice shelf disintegrating, the Swansea team said. Climate change wake up. Greenspace International Science Unit Chief Paul Johnston said the melting of ice in Antarctica was recognized as a canary in the coal mine warning the world of the dangers of climate change. The collapse of this ice shelf, the third collapse in this region in recent years, is possibly yet another signal of the global impact of climate change, and the imperative of implementing the Paris Climate Agreement, shifting to 100% renewable energy sources and leaving fossil fuels in the ground, he said. No one knows for sure if climate change played a definitive role in the break of the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf, but given the relatively recent breakup of other shelves, and the contribution thought to have been made to erosion of the ice by warmer waters around the Antarctic Peninsula in those cases, it seems likely that human activities are a factor. Climate change wake up. Greenspace International Science Unit Chief Paul Johnston said the melting of ice in Antarctica was recognized as a canary in the coal mine warning the world of the dangers of climate change. The collapse of this ice shelf the third collapse in this region in recent years, is possibly yet another signal of the global impact of climate change, and the imperative of implementing the Paris Climate Agreement, shifting to 100% renewable energy sources and leaving fossil fuels in the ground, he said. No one knows for sure if climate change played a definitive role in the break of the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf, but given the relatively recent breakup of other shelves, and the contribution thought to have been made to erosion of the ice by warmer waters around the Antarctic Peninsula in those cases, it seems likely that human activities are a factor. The nearby Larsen A ice shelf collapsed in 1995, and Larsen B dramatically broke up seven years later. The final break was detected by a NASA satellite. We will continue to monitor both the impact of this calving event on the Larsen Sea ice shelf and the fate of this huge iceberg, said lead investigator Adrian Luckman of the university's Midas project. The fate of the berg is hard to predict. It may stay in one piece, but could also break into fragments. Some of the ice may remain in the area for decades, while parts of the iceberg may drift north into warmer waters, said Luckman. The team said the calving at the iceberg cannot be directly placed at the door of global warming, describing it as a natural event. According to an ongoing temperature analysis conducted by scientists at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies GISS, the average global temperature on Earth has increased by about 0.8 degrees Celsius since 1880. Antarctica is one of the world's fastest warming regions. According to news.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for the next video.